Good morning, fellow adventurers. Hello. So overnight, we were crafting away. We're, I was just going to start getting some stone smelting. And uh, let's throw that in. Oh, we don't have any more lava in our lava bucket. Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to have to use the old-fashioned coal. Which means I'm going to need more coal before too long. Yeah, I'm going to blow through that. But yeah, I'm going to start... Um, get some furnaces going and we'll start getting some stone bricks going. Good morning, critters. You cuties. Okay, let's... Let's see here. Let's get those seeds. Yeah. It's going to take a bit. Now... Like with that, is that... See, I got two seeds. Okay, that must have been ready then. I, I can't remember what the drop amount can get up to. Like, what's the best case scenario with uh, the wheat? I do not remember. Okay, so let's check what we have. We've got our sword. We've got a hoe. We don't need that. Um, some tools. And we've got some food. Check and check. Oh boy, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna eat these, eat these apples, and uh, eat one of my loaves of bread. Now I wanted to go head over this way and check out the ravine situation and see what a little bit closer what we're looking at. I've gone. Whoa, I've gone. Uh, all the way down to bedrock, but I still am not lining up quite right because I have to cut left. And this ravine doesn't quite, it doesn't go straight. So I need to get, I think, make my way down here somehow. Yeah, that's what I want to do because I would like, what I'd like to do is basically get out here and just pop straight out through my staircase. That said, I'm uh, beginning to wonder whether it'd be oh nice I just broke my shovel right out of the gate well that's good so if I was to go I think we could come down pretty much around here and we're gonna switch to a pickaxe momentarily because we'll be at that level there we are oh Whatever, I'm just going to get rid of this little bit of dirt because it's in my way. I should really use a loaf of bread. It's much more efficient mining with a loaf of bread. Okay. And then we will see what kind of magic we can come up with here. This is really what I should have done in the first place. But, you know, wasn't thinking. I was hoping to just come up with a more convenient thing where I didn't have monsters coming at me every five seconds. Yeah, it's, it's this problem that you run into. It's like, well, it kind of meets up <laughs> eventually. Okay. And... Oh, there we go. Because I don't really... Oh yeah, see, we want to go... We want to make our own little stairway here. Next is you. And you. Okay. And I'm expecting we'll, we'll undercut again here at some point. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're... This might have turned out to be, like, so much more economical. I liked having the, because uh, what I was thinking in the long term, I was thinking I could end up building a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a little rail route that comes out. Um, that was something I was kind of contemplating, but we'll see. That in, in the long play, my little pit down might be profitable, but for the moment, I don't know. Uh, 
There's a lot of gravel there. All right, well, let's see what we can do. Okay, and we need some light. Might be day, but it's getting dark. Alright, so now we're hitting a point where I think we can get rid of the... Okay. Interesting. So, oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Well, that's, yeah, this would essentially be the point at which I would like to punch through. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just go this way, and I'm just going to hit our staircase, because I think we should at some point. And then that is dealt with. Then we're matched up. Who knows, though, I might just end up hitting like a pile of lava in the middle here. I have no idea what's in the middle of this whole mess. Let's move these two things close to each other. Um, closer, I guess. All right. There we go. Now I know it is a ways for sure to hit over to the edge of the stairs. In fact, I might have come at an angle where I went over top of this. That's even quite possible. That maybe my angle was not steep enough? I don't know. I find that hard to imagine. Now I'm also at a point where I really should take all of the, uh, the iron I can get. So if I see iron, I really should take it. Oh, oh boy, you don't. You, I don't like those uh, uh, those overhead mining opportunities. Aren't the best. Pass. But I do like when you don't have to go too uh, high to get the other ones. Okay, good. We're all good. Likewise with the coal. I'm going to need the coal soon. As I'm burning through it now as I... Oh boy, this is a big pocket of coal. As we uh, use all the coal now for smelting stone for our habitat, that's going to... Uh, we're going to need a lot. And ideally I'd just come down here with a bunch of buckets and get lava. That would be the, the tops. But we need a lot of resources to get working on that, either whatever way we choose to cut it. That's, uh... We'll see how far we are, though. I can't imagine we're that far in. Again, I did, I ended up cutting into a cave uh, when I was coming lateral like this. I did punch through something, so who knows? I might be totally off. We'll see what we can hit here. If we hit anything at all. At least it's buttery with these these uh, iron pickaxes. That's good. How much iron? Oh, a little bit of iron. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, and this one's almost toast. And where did that phrase that something was toast come from? It doesn't sound like it was a good idea, a good phrase. I'm guessing it's a military phrase. It probably refers to something horrible. <laughs> like things getting blown up. It seems like one of those kinds of phrases. Okay, we're hitting some dirt. Or were we? Or no, is this granite? Oh, it's just granite. I do believe. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'm I'm totally intrigued though when I come all you know punching along through these. It's it's always intriguing. Like what am I gonna get? 
I could be coming out in the middle of some bizarre spawner thing. Like, you just don't know what you're going to land into. Well, my, uh, my patience for this is clearly too high, because I'm not hitting. We've gone quite a ways now. If I'm not hitting my staircase at this point, I must have messed up. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. The staircase does cut into something. I don't know what it's cutting into then. I really just need a compass or something. Or coordinates turned on so I could uh, properly figure out where exactly we, uh, we ended up. The, again, it's hard to gauge distance as well without uh, the coordinates because I don't really know how far back is exactly the edge of the ravine from where I dug down with my stairs. This is a long path, though, if it is. This would not be efficient. It would be much more efficient to just go through the top. Okay, I think I'm going to give up here. This doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Wow, that's bananas. Okay, well, that's fair. I think we gave it a good shake. One last one here. Nope. All right. Let's put a torch. A little bit of iron. I'll just take it while I'm here. decent amount. Sure. Why not? I saw some here too. May as well grab this. Okay. More here. This is a good, good amount of iron. Yeah, we should make a few more torches. Oh, is that it for now? Okay. There we go. Take this coal. Level 19 XP wise. So we're doing okay on the XP. So when we actually get into um, uh, enchanting and stuff, we're going to already have a little bit, which is good. I don't remember how much XP I really need to get going with that. I feel like we've got enough to make a dent already. But we just need some uh, some good ingredients. And we did know there was a there was a witch around here as well. So I might be able to get a drop of some splash potions or something. And I'm going to need to start smelting down glass and all that jazz. I just don't remember what I know. <laughs> what do I know? Well, no, okay. Yeah, I came way far. Interesting. So my my whole staircase project is a complete bust from a, hey, this is gonna get us there quickly perspective. It's definitely not gonna be my choo-choo train all the way down here. That's not gonna happen. Yes, that's bananas. I'm just gonna leave the rest of this coal here. Wow. Okay, well, we're down at any rate. Oh, wow, so that's, uh, that's a big pit. Now I fell here, so I guess I want to get out at some point. So, we'll find our path. See, I thought we were going to... I guess what we could do is, uh, for the moment... There we go. We could start building some kind of... path down or something. I don't know. And just kind of fill this in. Actually, I want that open because we know there's something down there. That was kind of good. Um, how can we do this? Okay, that seems good. And then I can still kind of, if I really wanted to, I can get in there. Okay, good. And I just want to see what's in here. What kind of horrible nightmares await me? Ooh, what is that? Is that a bat? 
Am I really? And I, okay, I can make. Okay, there we go. So. My phone just buzzed beside me and I just about had a heart attack. So it was a big old spider. Oh, and that's it. There's nothing. It's just a little dead end. I mean, it might not be a dead end, but it seems like it is. Wow, and then this just welcoming ravine comes down like that. And there we are. We're at the, the bottom of the ravine. Okay, that's good. Now, you know what I'm thinking? Um, let's chuck those over there. Those over there. And let's fill up our buckets while we're here. Oh, do I have to, uh... Oh, ouch, 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 damage. Ooh, ha, singe, singe. I guess I gotta hit it at the point where it's coming out of the wall, don't I? Or I gotta hit it at a, coal, at a pool. Is it because I have no, uh, it's because I have no inventory. What, uh, what else do I have that I don't really care about? Okay, well, now we'll try. Did I end up picking? Okay, no, I still got... No, okay. Great, so now I've gotten into a, a little step. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's mosey on back up, I think. This way, yes. You know what, this isn't the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst entrance. This could be a lot worse. So I should really mark this. We know that this is where we can, can go down. So now we know there's a pile of exploration to do down there. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be, either we're gonna have to wipe out the lava flow um, which might be not a bad idea. In fact, I may want to, as we come down here, we may want to do it from a reasonable vantage. So we might want to come along here and uh, to do that, let's see. What can we do here? There we go. Easy as that, was it? All right. Well, that's gonna darken things up very quickly down here. Okay, bye lava. Right, don't forget to send me a message. That, is that it? The lava's gonna go away. Lava going bye-bye. Wow, okay. This ravine is a lot different now. That was a great source of, actually, you know what, over here, what I, I should be doing is making a nice little source of obsidian. That would be wise. Because I'm going to need uh, a bunch of that, aren't I? Oh, wow. And I could have almost swam some of these halfway up as well. I could have made a, a, a quick elevator. Now, I don't have any more. Hmm. Yeah, no, I gotta get at a better point. 
because what I would like to... Oh, there's gold there. Look at all this. This is the stuff. Oh, hot diggity. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now what we want to see is just some freestanding diamonds. That would that would make my day. Wow. I didn't really intend to come that far into the ravine, but since we're here, right? This is not bad. And that just comes randomly way out here. Interesting. Huh. So, I guess what I could do... Let's get our other pickaxe out. Oh. Let's get rid of this. Oh, and you. And you, and you. And what we'll do is... And then we'll go and grab ourselves some obsidian. Some more gold. It's a whole smorgasbord. I guess we, we can't resist the easy pickings here, can we? If I could stay off the water for a second. Yeah, this ground gold is... that's nice. Alright. Pile of you. Now, I guess the question is, before we go and grab um, a bunch of the other stuff, all right, so we'll go and, you know what we'll do is dig this out so that we get a, a little lava flow come down into the water here. Uh oh, no, I've created a problem. Up, upsy daisy. There we go. Oh, right, okay, I've just made a, we're just creating uh cobblestone is all we're doing. Just made a cobblestone generator. That's not giving me anything. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Guess what we could do is... No, because then that's going to come... Don't ask me what I'm thinking. Oh, you know what, I, I, there we go. We'll make a little. There we go, we'll kind of pen this in a little bit. Beautiful. 50% less chance of me scorching myself. Ooh, mysteries await us over here. Oh my gosh. Also, potential just cave-in. Massive cave-in. That's all it's waiting for us. Face death. No. I don't need a pile of gravel in the face. Was that a bat that just flew by? Might have been just stuff mining stuff. Oh no, that is a bat. Not as blind as I think I am. Okay, now in terms of 
Um, hmm. Yeah. I'm going to leave that alone for the moment. And, uh, poor little bat. We'll just ride this water stream back up. Excellent. I think that's a good start, at least. Again, you know, there's not as much obvious stuff. There's a couple of those those secondary mines I'm going to want to go into. I think it's going to be a matter of finding all of the nice little mines that come off the main one here. So there wasn't... I was hoping there would be some, some surface diamonds or some exciting stuff like that. It doesn't seem there is. Um, that goes back to there. Yeah, we're going to have to just find some secondary stuff here. This might not be the most exciting thing ever. I thought it would be, but I am I feel like I'm, I was mistaken. Oh, look at these cuties. Hey, sheepy. Hey, baby sheepy. That's very cute. Okay, let's head home. We'll see how everything's going over there. Uh, oh, yeah, see, our barricade really uh, didn't do much. Zombie's like, yeah, but you missed a spot over here. I'm aware of that zombie. All right, well, I've got loads of stuff in my inventory, so let's go and clear this out. Let's go throw our... I guess I'm going to put the water here for the moment. Let's go put the lava instead of burning up all of our coal that we can use for uh, torches. Okay. Wow. And we'll, we'll swap that. There we go. And we will chuck in, I guess, um, yeah, I'll throw in a bunch of this. And this one here, I'm going to throw in the gold. So there we go. Are you going to... Oh, i got to get rid of that. Good call. So, now I guess what I can do is... We can start crafting some stone bricks. And that made squat all. <laughs> okay, that's good. So we got some extra bread. Yeah, we're gonna be living off. Of, we're living the high life. We're living the bread life here now. So let's put all the things. Uh, you know, I'll keep the fence. And we'll just put all... Oh, yeah, I had a pile of iron. I guess we could start smelting that down, can't we? So 64 bricks. That's a, a little bit of a start. I don't know exactly what kind of start it's going to be. We'll see. Hot bar of that. All right. And I need to make a shovel. I also need to make more. Sticks. No, I don't want to make that anyway. My gosh, it's I end up with a purple bed. All oh, right, I don't have the iron on me. Okay, that's going to take forever. That's not going to take too long. All right, so let's get ourselves another shovel, another pickaxe, or two and we'll throw that iron back don't want to walk around with that so the question we've got is you know, where are we going to start building this fortress of ours I think it's going to take up 
most of the space here. Like, starting here, going all the way over to there. I think we're going to get ambitious with this thing. Um, we may as well go pretty much to the water's edge on this. That'll at least keep uh, the, the number of nasties to a minimum. So uh, let's start with that. Now, if I remember, if I, oh no, it does, okay, it stays as a brick. I was thinking, man, once I get rid of this, am I gonna have just massive problems? It's not going to go too far, but this is, I, I like it. We've got a process underway here. So that's, that's encouraging to me. Okay, and I'm going to just stop there. I don't know if that's how far we're going to go or what the story is. And then in terms of the front, um, I'm, yeah, I could stop here and build a little wharf, I guess. And I don't think we have too many explosive doodads coming at us. And that's that for now. This is going to go quick, though. Because we have a lot of stone. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yep, already. It's going to be easy. Okay. It's already 44 or more. Yeah, that's not too bad. I like these processes that they go quick. We're gonna blow through it like nothing, but at the same time, it's, it's gonna be pretty easy. What do we got? 17 more. We'll do a little bit this way. There we are. It's already starting to look like something. So this is gonna be our sea fortress. I feel like we're gonna need some uh, some finer touches than just the the mega walls of uh, whatever this this castle fortress dungeon place is. We're gonna need some finer things. There's gonna be a lot of construction and reconstruction. I feel like as we get going too, because I'm gonna change my mind a lot. So we've got yeah, we've got enough stone I think to go a ways. I'm happy with that. Let's get uh, get the gold out of there. Get that iron smelting down. So there we go. Twenty bars of gold. Um, what is that? Is that a bar or a cube? Oh, red wall. Okay. So we got eighty-four redstone. I need some uh, lapis lazuli. Um, I got to figure what else I need now. I'm gonna have to get some obsidian from down below. And all the other good stuff. And then we'll get on with that. But anyway, that's a good place for us to take a break, I think. And we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.